subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell in the top right hand corner. So when I release a video, you get a notification I get a view. Share is Kevin, it helps my channel grow. Also, follow me on Instagram, it's living underscore in underscore LDM. It's all lowercase, so give your boy a follow because we're nearly at 7,000. Come on. All right, people, sorry about yesterday. Oh, shit. I got, you know what? This, this intro is getting too long. I need to fix it up, create a new one. Because now I've got a Discord as well. So get involved in the Discord, people. We got porn stars in there. We got gamers in there. We got crypto. Someone give a tip yesterday on an NFT. They was like, buy this NFT. Is point. I think it was like a grand at the time. The NFT was got up to four grand this morning. I'm telling you, people, there's tips and tricks in my thing. And if they but we got porn stars in my Discord, mate. I can't believe it. Your boy's got clout, you know. She. So I apologise yesterday, people, for not being on point. But I've been in a rut lately, you know. Your boy's been fucked up, people. Look what I got. <coughs> Look what I got. <coughs> Wait, what? Bro, it's one out of batteries, man. Imagine that. Fuck sake. One sec. Let me charge this shit. Alright, so the vape's on charge, we're going to need it, because we're here for a little while, you know? We're here for a couple hours today, people. Yeah, you know what, no more roll-ups. I'm done with the roll-ups, people. It's messing me up, too many roll-ups, I can't, I can't do what I'm meant to do, I'm messing myself up, so from now on, I'm part of the vaping gang, you know what I'm saying? Because I've got responsibilities, people, you lot are on to me. Like, when I didn't go live yesterday, oh, what? You fell off, Lazar. <laughs> This guy, bro, who do you think he is, bull cunt, about not going live? Ah, oh, Lazar, you're an arsehole. You're full of shit, Lazar. But anyway, but I've been in a rut, people. Lately, I've been in a rut. I can't shake it. Normally, I, if I do go in a rut, it's for like a week or so. I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I see the warning signs and I just change up. But lately, I just keep slipping back into it. Slipping, but I haven't been gym. I've been gym once in about two weeks. I'm eating shit every single day. I cannot hold down nothing positive, nothing healthy. So fuck that shit, people. Um, today, forget Monday, forget everything. I tidied up, jumped in the bath and just said, you know what? Today's the day. Today's the day we're going to make a change. You know what I'm saying? Let me get my water bottle quickly, people. So, yes. And my baby mum, even she gave me some advice. I was talking to her the other day. I'm like, look, I'm in a rut. Can't get out of it. Just don't like how I'm feeling right now. And she's like, look, just stop smoking in the morning. Just take some more responsibility in your life and stop being a bum. And you know when someone just gives it to you raw like that sometimes, you're like, you know what? I actually think you're right. All good, people. All good. All good. We've got a pack show today, you know. I spoke to Ambush yesterday. Um... Decker Heggy and Dean Lynch Ward. Oy. And also, we got Darren G, the little pussy. Darren, a.k.a. Karen G. The guy's an emotional little pussy, and we're going to stick it on him today. In a nice way, though. Anyway, people, when we get to like 200 likes, that's when we're going to start getting into it. You know what I mean? Come on. Ugh. Nah, this top ain't small for me. This is a big one, bruv. This is a baggy. But you can tell from the arm, this baggy, you know what I mean? Come on. Glad you like this one. This is... I got this from ASOS, I think, you know? It's had its day now, though. After you wash any North Face top, like, four or five times, it's basically dead. Yeah, that's what we're calling Dan, uh, Davin G from now on. Kevin G. The guy is just a pussy with a camera, you know? Always getting in his feelings. The guy will say the most horrible and rude stuff about everyone else. If you say, Davin's a bit... Unstable sometimes. What you fucking say, la? You fucking dirty rat bastard. You fucking work with them, la la. You in a circle. You're gonna get me. You're gonna fucking get me, la. Well, Darren, today we are gonna get you, mate. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go deep on you. You know what I'm saying? Fucking little mug. <sighs> like we need to partition, petition Darren to get off YouTube. Hey, Daz, get off of YouTube, bro. You can't handle it. You're an emotional wreck. Yeah. Your whole part, and anyway, we're gonna get into Davin G. We've got a whole load of stuff to get into first. Hey, right, Ferdy, what's going on, my brother? You good, yeah? Shout out, fam. Shout out to all you lot, my people. Hey, right, my disco, respect from Thailand. Shout out to you, my guy, Mike Jones. 
My Discord is popping. We got birds in there, porno stars in there, posting their videos and that. I see it first, I was like, huh? I'm sitting on Discord for the next 10 minutes with a boner typing. I'm like, yeah, this is awkward. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, shout out to my Discord, the DJ Legion, you know? Shout out to Sophie Shocks, huh? You know about Sophie Shocks? Go on your old favorite fucking, look, he knows about Sophie Shocks, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sophie and her mates. Shout out to all the real ones in the Discord. Because they're not all porn stars in there. <laughs> but we got a few. We got a few people. You know what I mean? One sec. Let me sort this out. So if you want to be in the Discord. Hey, and listen to this. Shout out to Snatch Money Bags, yeah? He put a fucking... He was like, look, buy this NFT. Buy this NFT. I'm like, ugh, it's a lot of money. But the NFT, 4 x so it went from like 0.5, no, 10x. It went from 0.2 to 2 ETH. So people, there's tips and tricks in my Discord, you know. Don't get it twisted. We are there to win. We are there to win, people. I have another 100 more likes, people. We're getting into today's video. I can't lie, I'm upset, people. I've stopped smoking altogether now. I'm only vaping from now on. I've had enough. See, in my life, in my life, smoking has never really been an issue too much where I've had to just keep addressing it, you know? But see, now I'm doing this positive thing and I'm trying to give you content, I'm trying to be an entertainer, I'm trying to, you know, think on my feet as well. Smoking ain't helping, it's deterring me, people. So I'm still gonna be vaping the old um, THC, but I'm just not smoking as much, man. Fuck, you know. Dean Lynch has been a fighter, yes he has, people. Dean Lynch has had 80 satin fights. I ain't seen them personally, but I've heard about it. Yeah, I see one of his fights. I think that was the one he lost, actually. But we're going to rip Dean Lynch. Ward above you. Listen, everyone's getting it today. Shots are getting fired. Weed is not being smoked. So you lot are getting poked. <laughs> yeah, but we've got the old vape over there. I'm dying to use it, people. Yeah, okay, listen, people. See me. I ain't got a problem with weed. I ain't got a problem with people that smoke weed. I ain't got a problem with people that sell weed. I'm just saying, for me... Weed has helped me so much in my life, but now it's like, it's not too much helping me, it's fucking me up a little bit, you know? So, I'm not even saying I'm giving up weed. I'm just saying I'm taking a break until I've got my affairs in order, I've got a good positive routine, a good strong routine, and then I can, you know, maybe smoke a couple joints at night, but not waking and baking five joints, a bong, some fucking edibles. And I'm like, right, let me start my day. And I'm like, why do I feel so tired? Why have I got no energy? That's why. Because you're waking and baking like a fucking G. Peng Media, Wu Sell. What's going on, sir? What's going on, my people? I have 100 likes, people. We're going to get into it. You know who's not part of the story, really, though? Ambush. So let's get into the ambush thing quickly. So I spoke to Ambush yesterday. The person I spoke to yesterday, the ambush I spoke to yesterday, was the ambush I had in my mind. Respectful, understanding, Compact, all that kind of stuff. So when we're talking and he's explaining his side, because remember people, so come to up baby. There's two sides to every story. Now, if someone you care about and love, they come to you with a story, even though it may piss you off, it's always good to get the other side of the story. I tried to do that with Ambush, but what I did do, which was my mistake, and I think I said that in the video, yeah? I've taken the video down, I put it on private anyway. But what I said in the video is, I shouldn't, when I first messaged Ambush on, Instagram and put the fucking the video out there. I shouldn't have been disrespectful. I shouldn't have been like rude to him because you can't be saying to someone, hey, tell this dickhead to call me because he's a fucking tramp and blah, blah, blah. And then you're not going to get a positive you know, response back from them. So that was my bad for doing that. And that's mostly why his back was up. But when he explained everything to me, it just seemed a lot more, made a lot more sense, you know? So shout out to Ambush for being a real one. Um, don't hate on him, don't send him no more messages of hate and all the other stuff, people. Just let him do his thing. And you know what I'm going to be doing as well, people? Reacting to music videos. Because see me, I love music, you know? I love all the rap, all, the, all that kind of stuff, you know? But I'm going to give you a breakdown on all of it, a Living in London breakdown, a Living in London reaction. But like I say, I ain't got the equipment yet. So when my donation money comes in, that's all going to play a part to it, you know what I'm saying, people? So uh, I might even react to a few of Ambush's videos. But yeah, in a nutshell, we're cool with Ambush now. Um, K's cool, 
Not Kate, my baby mum. K, my ex. I know they both begin with a K, but they're different people. You know? So, yeah. So, um... You know what it is? There, like I say, there's two sides to every story now. And, like, if I tell you my side, it's going to be, like, from the, my, my perspective. And that other person's going to tell you from their perspective. And you need to find, try and find the truth in that. And I think I found the truth in it yesterday, you know? So there's no debt with K. There's no problem with ambush. We've sorted it out and we're good, you know? So hopefully give Bundy a shout. Shout out to Bundy, whoever you are, my guy. Bundy. It's going to be Monday tomorrow. <laughs> hey. Yeah, bro, okay, so you see me, rap is one thing I like. I like slow jams, I like love music, I like 80s music, 70s, 60s, I like blues, jazz, I like class. There's all types of music I like. So we're going to start there in my comfort zone and then we're going to step out of it. We're going to go all around the place, you know what I'm saying? Come on. How many kids do you have? Three. I've got three kids. Come on. My oldest is like 21. 22, fuck. So old, man. I'm lucky Ambush is a good kid. Are you a fan of John Lee Hooker? I don't even know who John Lee Hooker is, bruv. But shout out to him. Hey, shout out to Lam Roma. Shout out to Joe Pants. Come here, Joe. One sec. Hey, what else happening, people? What else? 200 likes to start the show, people. We got Dean Lynch Ward, Decker Heggie, and fucking Karen G. All in the hot seat today. And Dan and G's really pissed me off. What's happening, my people? Review my album. It's on YouTube. Hey, people. First of all, I've got to go to the music I like. Yeah? And there's loads of different music. There's even fucking people I know that have got successful music careers. So we're gonna, we're gonna be doing all of that, you know? And I get hype. When I listen to music, I get hype, people. A talking testicle, yeah, man. <sighs> all right, let me, I am, wait a no. if he If he spams that again, you literally, I, you legally snitch on ambush, Lazar. Low as fuck, bro, don't rate it. Bro, you know what, who I don't rate you, so you get out of my shit, you're blocked. <sighs> Guy's mostly never been on the road in his life. Yeah, 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 your comments are hidden now, Caesar then. Uh, put your glasses on. Wait, what the fuck? There's our show a few stiff dance moves. But if you don't want to see me dance, but seeing me dance is cringy, bro. It's cringy. No one wants to see me dance, trust me. Trust me on that one. 200 likes, people. Eight more and we're getting into it. Who do you want first? Davin the Mug G, Davin the Dicker G, Dan, Davin Karen G, or do you want Dean, Shitty Pants, Lynch Ward, and Decker Higgy? Who do you want? Let me know. G, yeah? Danny, Davin G, Karen G. Hey! Let's get Karen G, the little bitch. Karen G, eh? The little scarcer that can't return home. Even Little and Ditchy can go home. Fucking hell, Daz. What did you do, eh? What were you been up to, you little weirdo? Dav and G, mate. Even, you can say what you want about Marv. You can say what you want about Sean Atwood. You can say what you want about me. See what none of us did. None of us. See at the peak of our criminal life, whatever. We never ran to the police when it got peak. None of us did that. But I'll tell you someone who did. His name was Kevin G. Yeah. A.K.A. Davin G. You know what I'm saying? He's a bit of a pussy, bit of a big mouth, and he likes to shout from his fucking hidden spot in Birmingham. That's what he does. He hides in a little gaff and a little bedsit, makes sure no one's around him, makes sure his neighbours are just some fucking 80-year-old fucking victims, and he's like, right, let me start making videos and fucking rapping about people. Bro, like, seriously, bro, you... I tried to be nice with you, Davin. I even tried to look past the disrespect you were sending to me and everyone else. But, like, you just pissed me off. You pissed me off way too much. And last night, or this morning, was the final straw. When you called my man to have a word and all the other stuff. Like, what are you doing, bro? 
What are you doing? So because of that, bro, the gloves are off. And we're beefing you down. Now I've got problems with Damon G. That little scarcer that grasped on everyone got people 30 years. And I swear the geezer was old. The geezer was about 50 years old, you grassed up. You basically give someone a life sentence. And then you want to call Liam Ditchie a grass. And then you want to call me a grass and everyone else a grass. When you literally give someone a life sentence, my God, people, the hypocrisy is crazy out here. It's crazy. And I, like, for the longest, yeah, see if you don't know Davin G. See if you was like me last year and you wasn't on YouTube and you was just watching these fucking ex-cons embarrass themselves, have beef and all the other shit, yeah? You'd be like, I kind of like this, Davin G. It makes me laugh. But see behind the scenes, the guy's a fucking bum, prick, idiot, weirdo. I went to meet Devin G at his house, yeah? I'm in his house, he's telling me, yeah, see Sean Atwood, yeah? He's got people that, are on, that, that work for him. And he says a certain word on his show and all them people get out and start typing and come. And I looked at my pal, because my pal's linked us up, yeah? I'm looking at my pal and I'm like, really? So Sean Atwood's got a key word that he's got for his trolls. And when he says that key word, yeah, fucking all these trolls start getting onto you. As he's telling me that, yeah, he's looking in my eyes. And his eyes are like, he's done like 10 lines of coke back to back. Now I'm feeling a bit nervous. I'm like, I'm thinking about all the stuff I said about this guy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally know what you mean, bro. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Sean Atwood's sending signals through the TV to his trolls. And then they come at you. Totally agree with you, bro. Totally understand. That is not a paranoid thing to think at all. You know what I'm saying? The little weirdo, yeah? And like, every person he works with, Within the space of once the interview's done and, he's, and, 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 and their content is out, within a month they're a nonce in the grass. No matter what they've done. I know someone that supported Darren through fucking so much. Darren gets onto them. The guy literally is self projecting at this point. The guy's been a grass. That's why he can't go back to Liverpool. That's why people are chasing him around with behind tins of fucking baked beans and that. Even the crackheads are like, is that Javin G? Let's get him, lad. Fucking, we ain't got no lad. Get the beans from the shop, lad. Let's fucking go and get him, lad. Like, no one likes Darren G. I live in Camden where I was born and raised, my bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I've never done that shit. Now I'm not on the roads no more. Now I'm literally a fucking civilian. I can talk about calling the police. I can talk about not handling stuff on the roads no more. I can talk about being a normal person. But see you, bro. You talk about choose a life, not a knife. You talk about fucking helping the kids out. But then you're talking about telling the kids don't snitch. So you're putting the kids in a box. You're te literally telling the kids, listen, stay away from crime, do this, do that. But if it gets on tops, don't snitch. Don't do what I did. Huh? Don't do what Davin G did. You got someone 30 years, my bro. 30 fucking years. I haven't got not one person a day in prison. Not one person a day in jail, cuz, and you've got someone 30 years, and you've got the balls to go out and call everyone else a grass. You've got the balls and the fucking, I don't even know what you'd call it, to go at people that are supporting you behind the scenes with money and all the other stuff. You're a tramp, bro, and you're your own worst enemy because your radar is all fucked up. You cannot see further than your nose. You think everyone's your enemy. We're going to see how that pans out for you, my bro. And who the fuck is this Turkey McCann? R.I.P. my man. Who did Davin G kill? Huh? Turkey McCann. Can someone please let me know what happened with that situa situation? I heard Davin G run up in some innocent boy's house. He was a little kid. Run up in there and sh blew his face off. That's what I heard, people. So we need to find out the truth. We need to find out this Turkey McCann fella, yeah, who I end him at. Because Darren G loves talking about fucking the killers from Liverpool that got away with it. Bro, that's you, innit? Ain't that you, bro? And then you give up your fucking people that you was with to just fly down to Birmingham. But your own brother don't even chat to you. Danny G don't even chat to you. Huh? Like, your own family have left you, bro, for what you did on the streets. Not to other people, but to who you became. So don't come at me with all the bullshit, bro. Don't do that. Because when you was on the road, you turned into a wrong'un. You turned into a grass. No one turned me into a grass. 
No one done me. I nearly got murdered a few times. My head was split open. But there's even stories I ain't even told you about the fucking roads, no? I've been nearly murdered a few times. Ain't one statement. Ain't one nothing. Ain't one claim. Ain't nothing. Things on the road stay in the road. But don't try and bring no road shit to some civilian. Do you know what I'm saying? And I ain't never done that either. And if I did, I definitely got in trouble for it. I mostly went jail. Hey, right, let me read this super chat. I'm getting my feelings. Can you shout out happy birthday to Lynette? Michelle Dixon's sister, please. Hey, right, wait, let me get it. Lynette. Hey, right, Lynette. Shout out to you, baby girl. Happy birthday. I think I just got your birthday present, though. But still, happy birthday. Come on. I hope you have a good one, baby girl. Love your energy, bro. This is me when I'm not smoking. This is me when I just start to look around and that. And I'm like, hey, I'm not high today. Let me just have a look at things. Davin G's been poking me for the longest. How respectful have I been with Davin G? How cool of nah, 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 nah. Fuck that shit, Daz. You can't even hold down a YouTube channel. This is how demented you are. You can't even hold down a YouTube channel, cuz. You get so mad, you're mostly thinking your YouTube channel is talking about you. Hey, hey, who made this video? I never made this video. This fucking channel's taking the piss, lad. Fuck you, you're going. Nah. New channel. He's had about 10 YouTube channels. He's blamed Sean Atwood, James English, Marv. Mate, get a fucking mirror, look in it, and there's the person you need to blame, cuz. That's the person you need to blame. Don't worry about everyone else. Just don't. Worry about yourself, bruv, because that's who's fucking you up on a daily basis. Guy does my nothing. Now he hates Sean Atwood again. He hates Sean Atwood again. How the fuck you and Sean have made up and fucking had arguments about three times and it's always you that starts it and it's always Sean that forgives you. And now you've done it again. Now you're putting it out there again. Your content is literally recycled shit at this point. Huh? I left you alone, Daz. I really, really did because I didn't think you were too much of a bad guy. But seeing how you react to certain things that are nothing, I just know you're a piece of shit, bro. You're a piece of shit. So who the fuck is Turkey McCann? I think he was an innocent person. I think Damon G can't forgive himself for killing an innocent guy. I think he was only like 17 at the time. You know what I'm saying? So Damon G's out there murdering kids, murdering this, doing all this, yeah? When it comes to his time to be judged, it's like, him. he fucking told me to do it, la. That fella over there, la, he told me to do it, la. I'm just a victim, la. Yeah, yeah, me, la, I'm a victim. And then you come out of jail like you're a super hard man. Try and stick it on the youngers in Liverpool. They chase you into a fucking abandoned apartment and you're terrified and you leave Liverpool. So don't talk like you're hard. Don't talk like you're about anything because you're a cunt. If you can't be comfortable where you were brought up and raised, then you've done something wrong. You've done something wrong, bruv. And you killed that poor kid and you fucking... And, and you got someone birded off for 30 years. So stop talking about everyone else. Do a video about Turkey McCann. Do a video about Willie Moore. Huh? Don't worry, I'm going to do one. If any of their people want to get on here and, 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 and talk about the damage that little prick Dam and G done, let me know, because this is the spot for you, mate. Yeah, I know the kids chased them out of Liverpool, bro, because you tried to stick it on them and rob them. I know that, brother. Everyone knows that about fucking Karen G. He tried, that, Karen G was not reformed when he come out of jail. The youngers reformed Darren G. The youngers with their Rambos chased him through Liverpool until he found a fucking pedal bike, jumped on it, rode all the way to Birmingham and started talking into his camera. That's what the youngers did to Karen G in his own city. So don't be getting on YouTube shouting at this person, that person, this person, that person, brother. Because the kids in your own city don't even respect you. So how the fuck do you expect to get food to the kids when they're chasing you down the street with knives? You're like, kids, choose a life, not a knife, la! That's you, bruv. That was you in Liverpool. You thought you was the man. It's 2020, bruv. We don't give a fuck about the old. They don't give a fuck about us lot. Huh? They don't give a fuck, bro. You thought you could come out with your muscles and your six pack and stick it on the youngers. Bruv, each and every one of them pulled out their nank and chased you down the road, bruv. I've seen the videos. So let me tell you, my brother. Let me tell you, cuz, yeah? What we're gonna be doing for Dam and G, we're gonna be finding out about this Turkey McCann situation, yeah? RIP to my man and all that and your family and that, yeah? We're gonna be uh, talking about Willie Moore 
and how Darren G, at the height of his criminal fucking whatever it was, yeah? And remember, he said he didn't even make no money on the roads. So the guy was literally a bum going around fucking just fucking getting mugged off by people. Sending, like, just give him payment one and he'll go fucking do a madness. That was you, Daz. That's what you did, my bro. <sighs> Calm down a bit. <laughs> this is me without no weed. Five minutes, people. Five minutes without no weed. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, Cameron G, people. That's his new name. Like, we tried to be nice, Daz. We tried to be nice. But you kept poking, innit? You kept sticking your finger in. All right, let's get these likes up to 300, people. Come on. We've got 280 right now. Let's get up to 300. Hmm? Come on. <laughs> Let me see if this vape works. One sec. So, yeah, Daz, mate. You love talking shit, innit? Bro, is something happened with this vape? Why is it not working at all now? I just charged it, bruv. This gotta help me through my fucking tweetless nights, bro. Hey, bruv, the vape's not working, bruv. I'm gonna have to roll a roll up. And when I mean a roll up, I actually mean a roll up, people. Let me just put you down here for one sec. I need some nicotine or something. I'm gonna go through some of your comments as well, people. But yeah, we ain't friends with Dazza no more. Dazza is like, he, he's done his load, load of us. He really wants a problem with living in London. Like, he contacted someone that ain't on socials. He con... Well, anyway. You should have left... Well, anyway. Daz, you're getting it now, bro. You're getting it now, bro. You're going to see why these other guys fucking tap out. Huh? You're going to see why everyone tapped out of this thing, bro. James Young. Shout out. Oi, James Young. Shout out to you, my guy. Love, bro. Hey, Daz, you're going to see why people tapped out. See me, I go hard, you know. I really do go hard. I get to know all the little bits. Trust me. We're going to be uh, looking into your past a lot more now, Daz. And every time you try and deflect, every time you talk about someone else, I'm going to show everyone how, that's, how, that's, how that applies to you. You can't call no one a grass no more. Because anyone you call a grass has never sent no one to prison. Anyone you call a grass, yeah, has got to have sent someone to prison 30 years longer than you did, you little tramp. Aye, the truth will set you free. Marvin Herbert is another one. Got to run out of Spain. Got to run out of Swiss Cottage to go to Spain. He was working for the big team and got in the pocket... Nah, see Mar, no, no, no. Okay, see Marv, yeah? I know Marv personally. So no one can message and tell me about Marv. You can't do that. Especially if it's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. So we're not going to go in that. We're talking about Dazzle tonight. Karen G. And not even tonight, this afternoon. I've got so much energy for you, Daz. I went live in the afternoon. No idea what the hell you're on about, bruv. But you are mental funny. Shout out to you, brother Wexham Town. Hey, shout out to Wexham Town. North Wales in the house. Come on, people. So, yeah, you've got to remember, people, that at the end of the day, yeah, that I tried to stay away from this. I tried to not go down this route with Daz. But he just kept pushing me, you know? Kept being a disrespectful guy. All right, Daz. Well, now you've started it, bro, I'm going to finish it. Now you're going to see why Ditchy and them lot tapped out and Ben Hatchet fucking tapped out. Because I go hard, bro. And a shout out to the youngers. Hey, right, any of the youngers that chased Davin G and reformed him, let me know. Come on here. you got open pass whenever you want. Let's talk about it. Any of you guys that was on that video of that day that chased Davin G and had Davin G looking for a letterbox... Now leave me alone, la! Yeah, jump on my show, mate. Let's talk about it. Hey, shout out to the youngers. If anyone wants to get reformed, yeah, and you're over like 35, add beef with the youngers. Try and rob the youngers. See what happens to you. See if you're still able to walk around like it's all good. Huh? 
Fucking idiot. Shout out to my Liverpool goons, you know. My Liverpool goons. Shout out to all the real ones in fucking prison doing their sentence. Understanding, yeah, that they took, um, that they, they done their crime, they took their responsibility. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm not taking no more prisoners no more. Now, like, pff, bruv, trust me. Fuck these guys, bruv. Damn, it's a rat. And, like, see if you did that. Like, can you imagine what fucking Danny G thinks about this little mug? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're out here, you grasped up everyone. And now you're in the camera calling everyone else a grasp who's never grasped on anyone. You fucking idiot, bruv. I shout out to you. I Mammy Potato. Kalnak concert. I bruv, there's no Kalnak nothing. Dan and G had to start saying that because all the youngest had knives and were looking for him. He's like, am I going to get out of this one, lad? I'm going to have to change everything, lad. Like, trust me. You do not get to fucking... Commit crime, get away with it, get caught, cool. send everyone else to jail, come out and tell everyone that they were grass and don't do crime. That's not how it works, my bro. That's not how it works. Let me look for a light, people. One sec. So yeah, Darren the Sausage, AKA Darren Karen G. He was a fibber, but uh, bub, it's all, it's all bub, I'm being honest with you lot. As honest as I can be, yeah? Like, I've never really had a bone to pick with Damon G. I wanted to meet the geezer. When I met him, I see he was a bit unstable. I even said that to him. I said, but you are a bit paranoid, innit? You know, thinking I'm in his house, we can talk. But the, the, the dead look on his face is like, I let you in my house, though, innit? Like, I was like, yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about, bro. But the guy's off key, off fucking key. And the action today was your final straw, Daz. That was it. Now, now it's on for you, bro. Now you're gonna, I'm gonna make you answer them questions or come off YouTube, innit? Every, bro, have you noticed why Davin G doesn't even have comments on his channel? He don't have comments on his channel because he does not want people knowing what he really is. The rat he really is. He's just getting it stuck on him left and right. My comments are open. My fuck, everything's open, bro. Cause I'm an open book and all I gotta do is block someone I don't like. You can't even do that, bro. You've got so much hate. You fucked over so many people that you've got to block everyone out. The only person that can have their say on Davin G's channel is Davin G, bro. Eh. Apart from that, because, because everyone knows, you grasped on a 50-year-old man basically killing the geezer off. After killing a young kid. Proper scumbag, you know? Proper fucking scumbag. And you know what, Daz? I bet you thought you got away with everything, innit? I bet you're thinking, nah, it's all sweet, nah, nah, nah. I'm bringing it all back up. I'm rehashing everything. I'm making you relive every fucking thing you did, boy. And shout out to the youngers that chased, that chased Damon G out of Liverpool. Imagine that. Damon G don't tell you that, does he? Damon G got chased out of Liverpool. Huh? With his little high-tech trainers on. All the way down to Birmingham into a fucking homeless shelter. That's what the youngers is. Shout out to the fucking real ones in Liverpool that don't want that dirt on their city. You know what I'm saying? I respect you, brother. It is what it is, people. It's just the truth. It's Davin's life, isn't it? This is how he wants to go on. This is what he wants. All right, Davin, this is what you want. This is what you're going to get, my guy.